so welcome back to Penguin's Garage guys. Here's a trailer that I had already previously worked on. This thing here, I had to replace the entire back of this trailer. So they had a C channel in place and these ramps used to go into the trailer. What was happening is this is an equipment trailer so the equipment was wearing a groove there and there and then the sides sagged down too because there was no no structure in there. So as I'm picking up this pile over here, here's that uh, back of the trailer that I told you guys about. So what they did is there's just a piece of C-channel and they cut out I don't know, good 90% of the structure right there and leaving only the flat stock primarily remaining for the ramps. And this thing here kind of goes down like this now. So that's the piece that I cut out of that trailer. So what I did is I took it out and welded in a two by five um, piece of eighth wall, I think, uh, rectangle tubing. And then I built these for him. So just put a bar across and made it so adjustable made it so that he could adjust side to side and it has a center support in it well let me show you what happened to this thing after not too long so I built these kickers on the ramp that way when it goes down it doesn't lift the truck off the ground and these started giving out now I kind of thought this would happen but we wanted to try it so that bent over here you can see we're missing a finger there should be a whole other piece coming down around here. He gone. So we got a solution to this. Let me drop these ramps down and then we'll go over the solution. Here it is, here's the missing one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna cut these, cut these. I'm gonna take that tube over there. I'm gonna cut it down. So it's the width of this, and then I'm gonna weld it back in. In doing that, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. I'm not overly ecstatic about that, but we're gonna have to get rid of it. So I might have to beef up the edges a little bit. Not 100% sure. So this one here, I'm gonna cut. This is the easiest one for me to re-weld on there. And probably cut this tab right off so that I can get to this bar slide the piece of pipe on and then weld it to that so that's going to be step one here on both sides so let's see how uh let's see how this all plays out
guys preferred they are not a sponsor yet reach out to me guys I love your product so um, this is a brand new disc I'm gonna watch let you watch how quickly this just tears through this shit Done. As you can see, this pipe is gonna go over it. It's got a little bit of clearance. I'm gonna drop this in here. Weld it back into position, and then we're going to weld this to the ramp and complete this. I'm gonna do it without the center support because the center support doesn't work with a full width. And Larry's agreed with me that we're gonna try, and hopefully these things will be strong enough to hold all the weight. I might do a little gusset in each side just to give it that little little extra bite, but not 100% sure yet. So yeah, let's just keep going. Over here, we have a plate sitting on top of the bracket that's going to hold us flat. helps line this side up then that side there I just put my hands around it feel it it's close enough um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn it all the way around burn that side all the way around So guys, this is how easy it is to do this by yourself. With this method. Just, well, don't do it that way. It's that easy. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. So grab the actual pipe, not the slidey one. Get that so it looks decent. safety squint action now the bar is nice on there
All right, guys, that's a wrap. We got this all done. Took a couple hours here, but we're set. Show you guys how it works. So that's it guys, getting eaten alive out here. There's bugs everywhere here. They kept going in my helmet, they kept going on the welds, dying immediately. Um, anyways, fixed again. I don't know how well these little sides are gonna hold up, if they're gonna hold the bars forever, or if I'm gonna have an issue with the bar bending and sagging. It's, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of an experiment, but that's it. it does what it needs to do for now and uh, let's get it put back in the parking lot so he can pick it up tomorrow. That's super fun. Look at him. That's pretty fucking gross. A little Scorpiano. Yeah. Nope. Not a fan. Alright guys, thanks for watching another episode of Penguin's Garage. We got nothing left to do but to clean up this mess really don't think you guys are down to watch that so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe I do weird shit like this all the time when I remember to film it I show it so thanks again for watching guys catch you on the next one